Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about um, my S22. Um, I must confess I haven't had a lot of time to actually ride the wheel because it's just been awful weather here in the UK. But um, as soon as the weather is better I want to get on the wheel and bring you guys some footage on that uh, S20 at S22. It's been actually been living inside the house <laughs> just just because it's such a nice wheel. <laughs> It's quite sad really but okay so um, what I want to do today is I want to talk about um, what personal electric tra transport did to my wheel um, to pin the stator now um, I've taken a screenshot um, from a few different um, sites and I'll um, put them up here but um, I just want to um, show you guys what they did to to pin the motor um, so that it doesn't cause the slippage of it. So, and listen, this is this is just how I understand it. And if there's anything um, else that you guys want to add to it or correct me on, please drop it in the comments be below. If you did like this video, you'll find it in informative. Um, please join along and give it a, a thumbs up and also subscribe if you don't mind. I want to get to 2,000 subscribers, so um, it's, my, it's, my, it's my goal, and then I want to keep on going. Um, so let's start. So as far as I understand, um, the this, this stated problem for the S22s, um, the, 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 um, the first batch and also the batches afterwards, um, and I think after June, it's also, it, it looks like it's got the new motors, or more people is getting the new motors. For June 2022, I'm not 100% right, but that's how it looks like. There's some motors that is coming in, and it look, also looks like the new motors that that are coming in is the 44 um, or the 4,400 um, watt motors, um, and they've now been fixed, as far as I understand. So, so what happens is uh, the outside ring where the windings is, and the inside is is sort of in a groove there's the the winding sits like that in a in a sort of a groove um, of the inside wheel the sort of sort of the hub now what happens is if you put a lot of force on it the outside winding bit that lies into this groove of the of the rim itself slips and what that does is because the um, the motor wires and everything is tied to the to the winding side of it, it then slips. And now what that does, it pulls the wires out, and then it 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 chops off the wires, and then you get a short uh, a short circuit, or you get a cut off. So that's as far as I understand. But it's very difficult to explain. But I'll put a photo up here so you can see. See how the how the outside winding fits into that sort of groove. It's like a it's like the um, like that, and then the winding bit slides in top of it. So if you put a lot of force in it, then it slips. It can slip. Now I think for for most riders that don't do massive jumps or put a lot of uh, a pressure on it you'll probably never experience it but the thing is it is a safety concern and where safety is concerned I th think the guys need to take the hands out of their pockets and fix it now a lot of um, a, a, a dealers has been dealing with it with this themselves and um, this is exactly what personal electric transport did is they took that onto themselves I think rev rides as well Ewells, loads of the US guys alien rides I think all of those guys has, has sorted something out for their clients, taking the wheels back, pinning it themselves, or um, sending it away to King Song to get it pinned, or King Song sending them new wheels to fit. But it's you know it must be a massive, a massive uh, overhead for King Song firstly to sort this out, and then also to um, a massive overhead for the clients. Um, over it for the clients having to send their wheels away and then also for the dealerships to take that onto themselves so um, now what happens with the process is they have to take the whole wheel apart 
um, and take the the wheel off tire off tube off um, and then they have to disassemble the wheel so they only get the winding bit and the hub in the inside then basically they're gonna they're gonna um, because it's this uh, this groove thing that happens they drill a hole in in the side of this u so it goes into the side of the u and in the side of or in the middle part of the of the of the winding bit so what it does it it then puts a little pin between the two or or in in inside between the two and that then allows it not to go forward and backwards and it's it's usually i think it's about four pins and the four pins then well it gets drilled in gets cleaned out to so make sure that there's no shavings and stuff in inside the windings and whatever and then also they they um they put a, a small bits of loctite in and then they uh, hit the small little metal pins into the side of the wheel so this then secures the wheel so it doesn't slip so um the guys from personal extra transport did this for all their wheels as far as i understand they took the wheels in from the customers um they drilled the holes they put the the um the uh, solution in there and then they pin it with small little little grommets um now this again is for is for me great because when you buy the wheel and i'm not I'm not a super aggressive rider. You know, yes, I do like riding trails and this and that and the other. Um, you know, I do do some drop-offs. I do do a, a bit of stairs and whatever. But I'm a fairly light rider. You know, I weigh about 70, 75 kilos. Um, so it's probably never going to never have an effect on me personally. Um, but it's so great to have that, um, that uh, knowledge that the wheel has been fixed. Now... Um, it would be quite nice to get the new uprated wheel, but I, mean, I am I am not worried. I just want to really get out and ride my S twenty twenty to put some miles on and just getting getting used to the wheel because it is a big old a big old beast compared to my S eighteen. But I'll put some um, uh, 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 some video up here on the one side so you can see what they did, um, and then again I just want to quickly. Thank the guys from Person Electric Transport for firstly the awesome service that they've that they've given give, give, given me and also making sure that the wheel is 100% right. I also received the wheel and um, it was firmware, it was fully charged, it was ready to go, the tire was checked and whatever. It looks like they also do the same as Speedy Feet, they, they do the unboxing, check, check out everything, charge the wheel up, make sure everything is working and that's awesome, great. Um, and 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 yeah, just just sort of the whole communication, and also willing to share this information, so or, or, or give this information about the stator um, to me, so I can share it with you guys. Because I think it is it is it's awesome to to know that they also um, they also did this extra extra bit of effort to uh, secure the wheels, so that you guys are. Um, safe when you're riding on your S22s and then I hope that King Song is going to move forward and they're going to they're going to be fixing this stuff and they're going to be the key thing for me is that they keep on developing these wheels and keep on making it better you know you know a lot of people complain about the sliders and there's a lot of aftermarket stuff you can put on the sliders and whatever currently mine is is brand new so the sliders is not grotty or dirty so it slides really nicely but again as soon as I start riding and it starts getting gunked up you know I'm going to try and clean it and see how that works and then I'll probably also look look at that um, the sliders to get that replaced and an upgrade because it looks like there's so many solutions out there that is going to help um, if if there's um, a, a, a further comments on the video please drop it in the in the comments below would love to hear your guys thoughts on this um, also let me know about if you've got your S22 and your motor is pin, what your dealer did for you and what, what you had to go through. Um, and yeah guys, if you did like the video, again, give it a thumbs up and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching and cheers.